stake. And as the blood continues to flow, million dollar rewards are now being offered for the Tijuana drug buses. Million dollar rewards, still no one on either side of the border can stop them. Chris Blatchford has a story now of the Ariano Felix brothers. Chris. Well, they've built a reputation as Mexico's most violent drug lords. Now they may also be the biggest, paying out millions in bribes to operate untouched. As we see in this Fox Undercover report, a new special unit in TJ is out to stop these billion dollar drug lords. Assault rifles ready, extra clips of ammo taped in place. Always prepared for a gun battle. This special unit comprised mostly of Mexican army men is hunting for drug thugs under the watchful eye of Major Felipe Perez Cruz. La que aquí... He says their mission is to capture the heads of the violent Tijuana drug cartel, the Ariano Felix brothers, Benjamin, the brainy businessman known as El Mean, Ramon, party animal, enforcer, and compulsive killer, Javier, the little brother known as El Tigrillo, who has survived five assassination attempts. Their business? Drugs and death. Last November, Ariano Felix gunman assassinated two of Major Perez's soldiers here outside a Tijuana courthouse. So far, six of his men have been cut down by Ariano bullets. The Major says it only makes his unit stronger. No se va a bajar la guardia. Al contrario. He explains it is either us or them. Meanwhile, U.S. drug enforcement officials say at least 40% of the cocaine smuggled into the states is from the Tijuana cartel. That's in addition to endless loads of marijuana, heroin, and methamphetamines. The Ariano Felix family, seven brothers and four sisters in all, has amassed a dirty fortune in the billions of dollars, rich and ruthless. In this Mexican police videotape, obtained by Fox News and never seen before on American television, Alejandro Odoyan, a well-placed cartel member turned informant, says, killing is a party for the Arianos. It's a kick. They laugh after a murder as if it were nothing, show no remorse, and go off and have a lobster dinner in Rosarito. Authorities say the hit list now includes a dozen top Tijuana law enforcement figures. Police Chief Federico Benitez Lopez, an honest cop shot down in his pickup truck after he reportedly turned down an Ariano bribe. Former Chief Prosecutor Jose Arturo Ochoa Palacios, assassinated during his morning jog. Baja's former top prosecutor, Sergio Moreno Perez, tortured and shot along with his son. Federal Prosecutor Jesus Romero Magana, shot to death in front of his home. Tijuana Federal Police Commander Ernesto Ibarra Santos, machine gunned to death on a trip to Mexico City two days after publicly targeting the Arianos as the cartel bosses. And Jodin Gutierrez Rico, a special prosecutor appointed to investigate high-profile Tijuana murders here in front of his own house, blasted with 120 bullets. Then his body repeatedly run over by the assailant's van. Before Odoyan mysteriously disappeared about a year ago, he also confirmed it was an Ariano hit squad, led by Ramon, who killed Catholic Cardinal Juan Jesus Posado Ocampo at the Guadalajara airport in 1993. That's one reason Ramon Ariano has a $2 million price tag on his head. In realidad, debemos de, de aceptar. Major Perez Cruz says, we have to accept that the Arianos have enough money to be hiding anywhere in the world, including the USA. In December, a number of Ariano properties were seized and searched. This house left empty. Collectors' automobiles in the garage, secret doors, and escape routes well laid out. The Perez Cruz hunt, now 16 months old, continues here in neon-lit Tijuana clubs and darkened alleyways. The drug fighters interrogating small-time dealers, 
busting up mid-level Ariano smuggling operations, confiscating their guns and dope, always looking for information and clues. In early March, the constant searching paid off with the capture of Amado Cruz, a top Ariano lieutenant picked up in a Tijuana restaurant. A few weeks later, the Major's crew arrested Magdalena Beltran, a longtime drug dealer known as La Lena, who has ties to the big guys. Inside her Rosarito Beach house, a stash of marijuana, methamphetamines, cash, cell phones and radios, an assault rifle, shotgun, and several handguns. The anti-drug unit believes the weapons belong to Jose Bat Marquez, a Mexican Mafia hitman from San Diego who was working for the Ariano cartel and was hiding out with La Lena. Perez Cruz hopes these arrests will eventually lead him to the Arianos. The elusive Tijuana drug lords have been spotted in New York, Hawaii, Las Vegas, San Diego, Los Angeles, and even Hollywood. Recently, the murderous cartel bosses have not been spotted in Tijuana. But since last summer, the violent presence of their organization has been he have felt heavily along the El Paso Juarez border. That area is the scene of the latest bloody drug war involving the Tijuana and Juarez cartels. Details behind that story tomorrow. Scary group. Chris, thanks very much. See you tomorrow. Thanks, Chris.